the ivy issue. You've very likely seen ivy in your neighborhood, urban center, and local forest. This small, creeping, evergreen vine is so well adapted to our mild Pacific Northwest climate that it grows year-round in southwestern BC. The vine trails along the ground or grows vertically up trees, fences, walls, and hillsides. It was originally transplanted as an ornamental and often grows on buildings. The small rootlets of the vine extrude a glue-like substance that allows the vines to attach to almost any surface. These vines are thin when they're young, and the mature plants can have woody vines up to 12 centimeters thick. Ivy has two growth phases. When you see ivy, you're most likely going to see it in its immature phase, which can last about 10 years. In this phase, the plant lacks flowers and has a dull green, low leaf with light veins that alternate along the vine. In the mature phase, the leaves are unlobed and they produce umbrella-like groups of small yellow-greenish flowers in the fall, followed by dark purple berries in late winter or early spring. Why should we care about ivy? It is a pretty plant, but unfortunately when it's left to its own devices, ivy quickly gets out of control and covers everything in its path. It's especially harmful to trees. The weight of ivy is capable of breaking branches and toppling trees. It also impacts their ability to photosynthesize, cutting off nutrient supplies. It quickly forms a dense monoculture ground cover that suppresses and excludes other vegetation and is unsuitable for most wildlife habitat. The ivy berries are even mildly toxic to birds. Now that we know how harmful ivy can be, what can we do about it? Well, manual removal is the best method for getting rid of ivy infestations. When removing from the ground, take a good hold of the vine and gently tug in the direction of growth, loosening the roots from the ground. Be sure to remove the leaves, vines, and roots completely or else the ivy will regenerate. To remove invasive ivy from trees, you can use pruners or a small saw. Cut the ivy stems at about chest height around the base of the entire tree trunk without damaging the tree bark. The vines can then be removed from the base of the tree and the surrounding ground. We call this the lifesaver ring method. It severs the nutrient and water supply to the ivy, causing the remaining plant to eventually die off. Ivy can be removed year round, but the ideal time is fall and spring when the ground is moist and the ivy is flexible. After you've successfully removed all that ivy, it must be disposed of properly so that new infestations don't form. Please never compost invasive plants. It doesn't always kill seeds or root fragments. To dispose of ivy and other invasive plants safely, separate invasive plant material from the rest of your garden waste and place it in a plastic bag or a tarp to seal it. You can then throw the bags in the trash or take it to a landfill. Thanks for watching! Make sure you follow Sea to Sky Invasive Species Council on YouTube and on our social media pages for other helpful tips and tricks.